It's Sunday afternoon, and we thought it would be fun if you guys helped us make a milkshake. Yeah, <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's what we do. <laughs> I don't know why this makes me laugh. You guys will probably have the same reaction as our son-in-laws have had when the first time that they had a, a, a milkshake at our house. Oh, well, I'm not going to make that kind of milkshake. What are you making? A peach milkshake. We make those totally different. Oh. No, oh, he's, okay. he's thinking, I'm thinking see, of, we... I'm thinking of having uh, come visit. I was thinking that we were going to have like a, a cherry chocolate or a chocolate mint or even a vanilla ice cream shake, which we, we scoop into a cup and then just pour milk over it and eat it that way. That, yeah, that's how we, that is how we eat our ice cream is we pour milk. Over it, but we learned that my grandpa always poured yeah. cream over his ice cream. That's the way we yeah. learned to yeah. eat ice cream. It makes it colder, it ices it up. It's really good. But today we're going to make a peach milkshake. Our good neighbor brought over a few peaches uh, from her tree because ours are they, ready. They're, they're really these, ripe and ready to ripe. go. Oh, yeah, these are really ripe. Yep. Right. So, step one is you wash the, the fuzz off of them. Peel them just peel them. <laughs> now, the, this has the been a very are... interesting year. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> That's stupid. Well, no, it's just everything has evolved around the cookbook this last year in uh, getting the book put together. I, I thought that it was going to be like maybe a three month focused, you know, really? everyone pushed and... Really? Yeah, you we, thought we were <laughs> going to get done three months? Well, what did you think it was going to take? Well, I knew it was going to take a year, but I didn't know it was going to be a hard year. <laughs> oh, well, what made you think that it was going to be an easy year? <laughs> uh, canning, a pro tanning uh, tip. You don't put the, the pits down the garbage disposal. No, don't do that. And what about the uh, peelings? Oh, that much won't hurt. But if I have a whole lot, I don't put anything yeah. like that down my garbage disposal. Yeah, when we're canning. Put it back out in the garden. Yep. Professional tip number two. Yeah. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Throw your pits in the garbage. Clean up your clean as you peelings. Go. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Clean as you go. Next ingredient. Yeah, I do not own a mixer. Not blender? A blender. I have a mixer, a hand mixer. I do not own a blender. This works just fine. How much do you want? Doesn't matter. Uh, Almond extract? Yep. That's the secret ingredient? Yep. Yeah. That's plenty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> give us a tummy ache. <laughs> I like a lot of almond, but if yeah. I have too much almond, it'll give me a tummy ache. Whoa. Whoa, look at that. Yep. Top that one off. There you go, you called it. So this is just what we do on a Sunday afternoon. After our church meetings are over, we like to come down in the basement and just chill out. We, chill. It, it's nice and cool in the basement. Uh, we're done. Uh, loosen up our tie a little bit. Yeah. I've already unbuttoned my <laughs> collar. It was too tight mm -hmm. earlier, but uh, you know. And then we just kind of talk about what hap what's happened in the last week. Kind of plan for what's going to go on for the upcoming week, and if there's any you know big things that are out in the upcoming months, we'll talk about those and just kind of plan out what's going to happen the next 
week or so. So tell me, what's going to happen in the next week or so? Well, I know what it's. I know what he's going to say. She, you don't. she knows, and I think we may have talked about it a little bit, but we are going on an adventure which we've never done before. Now, I mean, I've been riding motorcycles and four wheelers since I was in junior high, but uh, we're going to go on a six day camp out in our four wheeler with some other friends. With, there's going to be a group of eight of us that go. And in six days, we'll hopefully have Joel and Bonnie there to pick us up. <laughs> there's nothing mm. like a fresh peach. You, you, know, you pull it off the tree and you bite into it and, mm. and that is, <laughs> yeah, well this is, you know, it's good. It, it's a little sloppy, but it is so good. Mm -hmm. Something that, you know, you don't usually want to take pictures of you eating uh, yeah, because I know. it's pretty messy. <laughs> I know. But, oh. Uh, but they're good. Uh, yeah. Ice cream and milk. See that? And, you know, fresh peaches. It, it's just that. Good shake. Sunday evenings are kind of a special time, and we like to have little treats, and we like to just sit around. I, if you know our family very well, you'll know we just really enjoy just visiting, just sitting on the sofa. We can sit there for hours mm -hmm. and just visit. And that's Talk. the way I grew up Laugh. doing that. And I think you did oh, too. Yeah. You spent yeah. a lot of time with your siblings. And we thought it would be kind of fun to introduce you to our family and to tell you a little bit more about ourselves. I don't know that we uh, talk about ourselves a whole lot. Yeah, we no, talk about not. our kids a lot. Yeah, our kids. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, I don't know, family's always been important to both of us. Uh, Jennifer yeah. came from a great family and, and I came from a wonderful family yeah. as well. And so we thought, well, let's just, you know, well, whereabouts are you in your family? I mean, that's always, uh, one thing I find fascinating is, you know, okay, well, where do you land yeah. in your family? You know, you're the oldest, the youngest. Are you the forgotten middle child or what? <laughs> so these are some very old photographs, but they are very meaningful to us. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> oh, I don't know. It just hits you sometimes. <laughs> well. It just hits me sometimes because it's just a special um, little feeling that I have. Even though these pictures are very, very old, they're still the same people. So this here is my family. Uh, this my, picture hangs on our wall upstairs, yeah. by the way. Some of you probably yeah. have seen it up you, in you our You may picture. have seen it in some of our vlogs. Yeah. But uh, Okay, who are we looking at? Well, okay, so, of course, this is my dad and my mom. My oldest sister, this is Linda. and uh, yeah, Everybody knows Aunt Linda. Yeah, Linda's been around for quite a while. She's the oldest. It's Aunt Linda. And a lot of people have asked, you know, well, does she have Down syndrome? What's... What's Linda's story? Well, Linda was born, and the term that I've grown up with was that she's mentally retarded. Uh, that term's not offensive to me. It, it's just that's what she, her mind is that of a, a young child. Uh, but she's, she's just been uh, a great part of our family. It wouldn't have it any other way. Uh, the next oldest is my sister Tamara, and then comes my brother Calvin, who I think I look a lot like him. Uh, Calvin's our traveling buddy. Yeah, we, we've gone on a few cruises with Calvin and his wife. And then who we got? Uh, then comes my brother David, and I've always been jealous of him. Just look at that facial hair. Look at it. I can't do that. <laughs> but uh, he was the brother just older than me. And then this this is me. That's my feeble attempt to, I think, having facial hair. Is that, I think that's a mustache on me. <laughs> but uh, that was a long time ago. And the And I'm the oldest... Of the three little ones. We were called the three little ones, mm -hmm. and the three little ones were me, my sister Marta, and my youngest and littlest brother Rex. That's, so that's uh, if I can't be the oldest, I'm going to be the oldest of the three little ones. <laughs> 
Now I'm going to show you where I came in to my family. And this picture was taking, taken, oh now, probably 1974? About um, 1974. So it's an old picture. Do you know which one I am? Yes, I am right there. My mom, my dad, and that's my baby sister, Sonia. And she passed away of cancer. And this is my oldest brother, Tad, Patsy, David. And he's kind of our riding buddies yeah. right now when we go on the motorcycle. Um, wait, it goes Tad, Patsy, David, Mark, Julie, Jennifer, Sonia. Where do you land in your family, and do you like that position? Do you like being the oldest? Do you like being the youngest? Do you like your position oh, well, in your family? Yeah, I, I loved it because I, I seemed to get out of... You were under the radar. Yeah, I was under the radar typically because the oldest, you know, they, a lot of responsibility tends to fall on the oldest. And, you know, everybody loves the youngest, and so there's a lot of attention on the youngest one. Which is okay with me. I, I didn't, I, you know, I think you I was... just like to lay low. Yeah, I just like being under the radar, you know, not a lot of attention. Well, I was the baby for six years. There's six well, years between Sonia and I. So I really was quite the baby, and I think I liked the attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. so anyway, if you like this type of video, or if you want to see more like it, thumbs up and subscribe and we will know to maybe do a few more like this where we just visit and tell you a little bit about ourselves yeah. yep. and if we maybe, don't get any likes we'll not, we won't do this anymore maybe we'll cook brownies <laughs> next time <laughs> thank you for watching and have a nice sunday afternoon good night